Will this 1970 Challenger outperform the factory numbers or will it be quicker? We also gotta try to see what mods we can do to make it quicker. Watch along and see if uh, this beast can do a wheelie. Legs and stuff it doesn't have enough horsepower to spin the normal tire. Second of all, these are way bigger in diameter, so it would make the car slower. We got the wrong lock nuts. So if I were to drive in these, we most likely would lose a wheel, and this quarter panel <laughs> would look like the other quarter panel. As you can see right here. Perfect. Insert chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I just got your all wheels on, and for reference, these are 225 70 40 wheels. So we got the app going over here. I don't have a per se like draggy or dragster app, but this one is somewhat accurate within like a, I think a half second maybe. And then we're just gonna punch it. No foot brake, no nothing with the 225 70 tires. And we're gonna see what's, what, what's it gonna do. I'm expecting a series of 60 time at at least three seconds. There you go. Are you guys ready? seconds later 60 so that was pretty exciting i guess oh! quarter mile 14.5 seconds no zero to zero to 100 kilometers an hour right that's zero to 62 miles an hour 14.52 seconds and uh, it took 248 meters to actually get there quarter mile 19 Seven and a crossing speed at 110 kilometers an hour, which is maybe like 69 miles an hour 70 <laughs> that was just flat punching it. Now. We're gonna try with foot braking it. We gotta hit the gravel roads <laughs> Hello, we just out had testing quarter miles so this time I'm gonna foot brake it a little bit like get it up in the converter You feel me and then ah! okay, I'm ready set world like it's so bad <laughs> so the other quarter mile test we just did was like four seconds slower for some reason uh, I, I'm pretty sure we went like uphill so we're gonna go back to the same spot as, as we did first and then try again <laughs> 60. one more try with the foot brake oh we had wheel speed damn to remove the air filter for max flow and we're also going to take the small wheels up front and throw them down back so we're going to have more gearing if you will we want to get out the hole with this thing both parts and muscle cars and whatnot does not have an rpm gate I have, I have no idea if this thing is valve floating or whatever it does peak rpm from factory 4000 rpm so shift point 
full 0.5, right? So if you guys are OG viewers or whatever and saw the Roadrunner build, you know where we mounted something right here. Most people thought it was a hair dryer, 440 Magnum gun or something, but it's just a timing gun so we could see the RPM gauge. So we're gonna do the same on this thing. Gonna hook it up to the battery, number one spark plug wire, and then we're literally gonna lay the timing gun and zip tie it to the hood so I can watch a live, a digital RPM gauge. So we're just gonna hook up the ground power over here. Get over here, wire. Right across the exhaust, so that's probably gonna melt. It's fine. There you go. Factory RPM gauge. I'll tell you what, so red equals faster, so red zip tie. Well guys, let's see real quick if it's a little uh, quicker get up and go. Let's see if we can do a burnout on, all, on both tires, maybe? I don't know. So also, uh, re remove the, the air filter. It's a hot end thing now. Great. <laughs> More horsepower, you know? Well, boys, we out here again. Timing like, no air filter, small rear wheels. And by the way, if I was to do this test over again, I would definitely need something else than this app. It's called Race Stats, I think it's called. It's a free app on App Store. I don't know, we got quarter mile, it got the mile an hour, it got different things going on. There you go. Oh, it did a little burnout. So we're gonna shift at 4,200 up here now. Damn! Intense horse talks. <laughs> it was kind of like bell floating a little bit there. And uh, 4,200 off him. Let's assess the damage. Okay, we gained a lot right there. 0 to 100, right? 13 seconds. That was definitely better. Quarter mile. 18 seconds at 118 kilometers now. So we definitely picked something up. Is this just the app being less responsive, better responsive, better GPS signal? I don't know. But from the passenger side, like butt dying. Kind of feels a little bit quicker anyway. Kind of, it kind of messes with your brain because the speedometer shows a little bit more speed because of the smaller wheels so you feel like going quicker <laughs> i thought i could do a quick a cool transition scene to my ray-ban scene and when it feels like you're doing quicker you also go quicker hit it Transmission, stock rear gear, stock engine, stock carburetor, everything is stock. I even went as far as going into Google and checking the tire size and it was almost the same rolling diameter when we put the small tires in the back which were just around 25.7 inches in a rolling diameter and so, so this thing to be doing exactly the same numbers as it did 55 years ago is pretty amazing. Quite the river, I tell you. If you want to see more challenging content, then check out this video right here or this video right here. Drifting, rally, picking up a Christmas tree. And here, making the challenger look like a drag racer with a new painted front end and big slicks in the back. So thank you for watching. Leave a like and subscribe down below. And I'll see you later, compadres.